Good morning, Knights. I'm Scott Carbon, and welcome back to the Royal Report News. I hope all of you are doing well in this time of quarantine. As most of you know, Monday we were told we would not be returning to campus, and Tuesday was the official stay-at-home order from Governor Ducey. I know that for many of you that means that you can't hang out with friends anymore or go out. But luckily for you, we have Abby here on some tips on how to be social at a distance. Hey Knights, it's Abby Lovell and I'm here to give you five tips to make you get through this difficult time. At tip number one, I have something really important. Make sure you don't hang out in big groups. And I know you've already heard this so many times before, but not hanging out in big groups is gonna help you and our community to get through this much faster. Doing this will help everyone in the long run. Also, if you can't hang out with your friends because it's gonna be tempting, you can always FaceTime them. Tip number two, you can FaceTime, Skype, and Snapchat your friends. At tip number three, you wanna go outside. You need to get that vitamin D, you need to go get exercise, take a walk around your block. Go run laps on the street, go walk your dog, take your little siblings or your cousins or someone, go outside, go for a walk, go play. Because you need to get that vitamin D in and you also need that exercise because sitting in your room all day is not helpful for you or anyone else. So don't forget to go outside and exercise. For tip number four, I know you're probably going to be like, mm, I don't want to though, but you need to do your schoolwork. Get your schoolwork done. Don't stay on TikTok the whole day. Tip number five, my last and final tip. Don't spend the whole day on your phone. But that's all I have for you today, Knights. I'm Abby Level, and I'll catch you guys on the flippity flop. Wow, those tips were amazing. Thank you, Abby. Social distancing can be hard, but you know what else is hard? Finding a good takeout pizza place. You've had best burgers and top tacos. Get ready for perfect pizzas. So we got the pizza, it was a 31 minute wait. So it's not bad, but onto the point, the actual pizza itself. So size is exactly what it says and let's go try it. All right, taste itself. So let's do this. Pepperoni, so I wanna try those, see how those are. I know they're standard pepperoni, but it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually Pretty nice. I would say the crust is pretty thin for like a pizza. I might just be trying to find a con out of this. Everything's nice, pepperoni's good, cheese is good, sauce is good as well. So I think this is it for Domino's and I will see you later. All right, the pizza is here. It was an estimate around 35 to 36 minutes. So it's just a little over of what Domino's had. For the pizza itself, let's go and open it. It has a bigger size proportion. I would say Domino's had a more smaller uh, slice proportion. Let's do the taste test. I do think that Domino's has an advantage with flavor as it's more garlicky. Uh, this is just, uh, just a regular standard pizza. However, Domino's had a, a little more flavor to it and enjoy it even more. I do like how everything is pretty even. The cheese doesn't overtake the, the toppings and the toppings don't overtake the sauce and the sauce doesn't as well. Pretty much everything together if I wanted to. Uh, Domino's, I had to taste a little more of the sauce. So it was kind of just overbearing the cheese and the pepperoni itself. If you just want to have just a little box of pizza, maybe get uh, just a little bit of sides for cheaper, then I'd go for Domino's because Domino's was really good. I felt like the size, it was just a bit like a kid's pizza, but I, I, that's just my preference. Uh, that's what I feel like. But I like Papa John's size better as I can just spend about two to three dollars more and just get a bigger size. The delivery was very close to Domino's. Uh, the size is bigger. Uh, the flavor isn't really there, but if you add something like garlic sauce or Parmesan, you'll be fine. So I would give this a 4.5 stars out of five stars. Please do not be heavily influenced by my opinion. This is just what I think, but 
uh, let us know. Let us know on social media. Uh, follow us on their Twitter or here. Uh, let us know. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That makes me so hungry. Thank you, Jacob. Make sure you're being safe when you go out nights and wear protective gear if needed. Miss Norman is here to show you some DIY on what you can do at home. My name is Mrs. Norman and I teach yearbook and journalism at Lake Havasu High School. Um, basically, I am making masks for anyone that works in the um, medical field or people that need them, all of our essential workers that are still out there working for us. I'm making them because when I first saw the fact that school was going to be canceled for a week, and I kept seeing things on social media of people making masks and people trying to like help out any way they can. I ran in my closet and I looked in my old supply of fabric and I saw I had a little bit of fabric left and some elastic and I just started sewing. So basically anybody can make masks if you have any sewing experience at all. The sewing machine that I have here is probably about 25 years old. I've already had a couple parts break on it and I've replaced them, but you really only need fabric that is 100% cotton and any kind of fabric will do. So once I started making them and ran out of my first batch of just leftover fabric from different supplies, I went to Hobby Lobby and I just started buying some cute stuff so that way at least there's a little bit of style to it. So fabric and then you're going to need your elastic to go around the ears. Um, I've experiment, experimented with a couple of different varieties, like I added some ribbon because a lot of the workers have been talking about how the elastic starting to bother their ears. I've even done one where the elastic goes behind the head so that you can, it doesn't have to strap around your ears. And then I've even made some smaller ones with just some scrap fabric that I had left over that would fit kids if they needed them. Um, additionally, I left a little pocket open on the top of each of them, so if you wanted to add in some kind of an extra filter, extra protection, then you could have that there. Well, that's all we have for you today, Knights. Make sure you go to yournightlife.com and click the subscribe button to be notified every Friday for more news. I'm Skylar Carbon, and let all these good vibes bounce back your way, Knights.